I am Aaron Hallett. Read original Christian rock. Just grab my acoustic and I'm gonna just go with this today. Got a logic session open and yeah, I said original Christian rock. So the original part means I'm just gonna make stuff up. I don't really have anything ready except that I picked this up and played some random stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna go off of what I randomly played. And I'm talking like I picked this thing off the stand strum around on it tune it up and whatever i'm like strumming out that's what i'm gonna make a song out of so it's just those uh triads starting on the a string and then i just leave the uh, b and the e string open to give it a cool extra like pedal tone texture on the top end Okay, that was all improv after that, but I think I'm going to run with that. Cool. Verse, pre-chorus, chorus right there. Um, let me set the tempo. All right, so I'm going to track a left acoustic, right acoustic. I'll get back to you after that. The drums are a MIDI drum loop that adjusts to the tempo and lets me play to some drums rather than just, you know, click track sounds, which I'm not a huge fan of. I just grabbed my bass and tuned it up, and I didn't do any other guitars. I might do a guitar solo in the third verse, but I'm just going to do this first. I just got the bass done. I'm listening back a little as I change guitars out. Uh, I'm going to do the guitar solo in the third verse. I could not get that bass line right. I normally, like track stuff like you know once or twice and i'm good to go but that was a catastrophe for me anyway seven times and i finally got it i am gonna just move over to the kit behind me i was debating playing on this sample pad thing but i don't know i just think it looks better for the videos I just finished those drums up. I got to go uh, put some lyrics down, so I'm probably going to just go into the house and do that. Okay, so I did put down some lyrics. Do I know what I want to do for the melody? Not particularly, no. Good enough. The lyrics will be in the bottom of the description box, as they always are. The middle has where you can find me online, purchase and stream my music. And I'm getting so close to a thousand tracks right now. Probably got another couple albums before that happens. Uh, the top thing I have is Bible teaching, because like I said in the beginning, it's original Christian rock. I decided to start putting this teaching as a resource in the top of my description box, because there's some bad stuff out there as far as teaching goes. This is in contrast to pretty much everything else I've seen, really good teaching. It's objective, not subjective. It's analyzing the text, translating from the original languages, taking everything into account as far as context, history, and all kinds of stuff. So it's really fantastic teaching, super in-depth. There's nearly 50 years worth. You're going to see the late Dr. Gene Scott, currently Pastor Scott. There's multiple streams on that website and a bunch of other resources and things you can get from the website itself. So I just put it there to be like, hey, come check this out. It's actually good stuff if anyone's interesting or interested interested and you're looking around and just finding a bunch of crap. <laughs> 
You can subscribe, like, comment, share. You'll keep seeing me. I keep writing music. That's it for today. Nice, calm, acoustic song. It's, like, mega hot and muggy out. <laughs> so I am gonna edit this thing down, upload it, and then I'm gonna go in the house, sit in the air conditioning, and probably play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm kind of like working through my third playthrough on that. I started playing it when I had injured my ACL, had the surgery, and couldn't do anything else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, yeah.